In this screencast, I would like to show you how to develop a simple custom probe. JProfiler comes with a number of built-in probes, but with custom probes, you can bring this powerful functionality to any part of your application. I'm going to take the animated Bezier curve demo and measure how often the Bezier curve is painted and what clip bounds are used for painting. So let's edit the session settings, go to the JE and probe section and activate the custom probes tab. This is empty by default and we can add a new custom probe by clicking on the plus button here and the custom probe wizard is brought up. When you edit an existing custom probe, you can jump to any later step by simply clicking on the index here. So let's look at this step here. A custom probe apparently needs a name and a description and I'll go with paint as the name and how often is my paint method called as the description. Let's go to the next step. In the metadata step, you have to tell JProfiler what your probe should be capable of and what data it will be recording. And this is done with a configuration script that we can edit here. There is a sample script in here that I'm going to delete and replace with a script that I've prepared off screen. So let's quickly walk through the lines of code here. Record on startup tells JProfiler that it should start recording right away so that we don't have to click on the record button in the probes view later on. We're interested in retaining single events and there is one event type that we'll be publishing which is called paint. Also, we would like to annotate data into the call tree so that we get a hotspots view and the name of the payload is also paint, just like the single event that we publish. Thirdly, we're interested in publishing telemetry information and there is one telemetry that we'll be publishing which is called paint invocations and the unit is dimensionless. So let's click on OK and move on to the next step. Here we can define a telemetry data script that is called once a second to collect telemetry data and I'm going to paste the script from outside again. Here we see that the number of paints that is determined by the interception scripts that we're going to define later on is stored in a map in the probe context and we extract that number and write it to the first array element of the telemetry data that is passed into the script. Afterwards, we set the number of paints to zero again. Let's click on OK and move on. Method groups can be used to define different interception scripts for different sets of intercepted methods. In this case, we just have a single intercepted method, so we leave it as it is and move on to select the intercepted method from the configured class path. In the Bezier package, there is a Bezier Anim demo class that has a paint method which actually paints the Bezier curve. So let's click on OK and move on to the last step of our configuration, which is to actually define the interception scripts. Each time the method is entered, we execute this script here. It increments the number of paints by one and stores the result in the map of the interceptor context, which is the same as the probe context that we encountered earlier on in the telemetry data script. It just has more functionality for intercepting methods. Secondly, we create a payload info and use information from the intercepted argument to note the clip bounds of the paint and use that for creating the payload descriptor. And lastly, we push the created payload info onto the payload stack and we'll reuse that later on in the method exit script. The method exit script that I'll copy from outside again takes the last payload info from the payload stack, this is what we created in the method entry script, calculates the time from the creation of the payload info to this very moment, and uses the payload info to create a probe event object. Finally, the event object has to be published for the events view, and the payload info has to be published for the hotspots view. And this concludes the configuration of our custom probe. Let's see our custom probe in action. We start the session and go to the JE and probe section to the events view of the probe and here we can see the single events that are published by the probe together with duration and clip bounds. In the telemetries view we can see the number of paints per second which is around 100 unless we minimize the window in which case it falls to zero until we restore the window to its normal size again. 
In the hotspots view, we see a single hotspot. This is because the clip bounds are always the same. If we activate the drop down box here a couple of times, we can see a second hotspot will appear with different clip bounds.